Greetings and welcome to Spiritual Magic Journey. This is your monthly tarot card reading prediction for the lovely fellow earth sign of Capricorn for the month of May 2020. How are you guys doing out there, my fellow Capricorns, as I am a Capricorn myself? Let's read our spirit in the bell for spirit to step in the sisters with this reading. So I do have the Sacred Traveler Oracle deck that I'm going to pull an overview thing card for you guys, a couple of cards from the Witch's Tarot, and I think this month we definitely need a postcard from Spirit. So I have that deck here. So, Spirit, what does Capricorn need to hear or know this month? And I do hope you guys are having a beautiful and blessed May out there. If you'd like to get your own personal reading, everything is in the description box below. So let's see what is going on here. Capricorn. Oops. We got wandering path. Enjoy the journey. Let me see that. That's a map, and that is a compass. Hmm. Enjoy the journey that is happening. No matter what your goal, where you're trying to go, what a mountain you're trying to ascend, you know, to the end, I feel like it's, we have to enjoy the journey as we're reaching our goal. Take time out to you know, ground, smell the coffee, they say, smell the roses, but ground, meditate, enjoy life. And I feel like a lot of us, as these major changes and shifts are happening, are going to be doing that as we are moving into the, some call it the age of Aquarius, the 5D, with these major shifts that are happening. Um... I feel like we're going to be in that type of, of energy. I feel like we're going into a different timeline. Um, so definitely enjoy your journey. No matter what it is you're trying to do and accomplish. You know, some people try to rush at, at some things. And get it done in spirit saying, no, stop, enjoy. Because those are going to be the best moments. You know, can be some of the best moments in your life happening in your life. Let me give it one more shuffle. I feel like one more shuffle for for us. So I feel like some of you want to try something new, try something different. Um and maybe this that shift that is happening has brought up that that you want to change, relocate, or, you know, start something new. Um, and I feel, uh, and I say go for it. Go for it. Okay. So we got the star, the queen of cups, the two of cups, and the king of wands. So definitely feel yes um besides the balance here with the star card which we need to start looking at that some of you definitely need more balance in your life i know capricorns like to work a little hard but everything's been put on a halt here lately so i hope you're getting that balance in there but this is a card of you know having optimism you know joy having that faith it's like you're we're going through that. Some of us may be going through that. Having that faith that everything is going to work out. I feel like there's going to be success here too. Success here in the month of May with, with the things that you wanted to go forth on that may have got halted or stopped here. Could be you meeting someone. Could be you meeting a partner um, in life this month. If not this month, I feel like Capricorns that are single, that have had that hard struggle, it may be this year. 
that you're going to be um, meeting someone. Um, some of you could be going into partners, partnerships, relationships. It could be just meeting a new friend. But there's someone coming into your life. And this could be a fire sign. It could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Is there anybody out there? Some of you that could be in, you know, dating an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Or dating someone that has that fiery quality sign. Um, you could guys could be getting married this this month. <laughs> Maybe you were planning it, doing it in March. But you had to put it on hold. So there could be a marriage this month. It's like a Capricorn. Listen to your gut feelings this month. Listen to your intuition. It's going to be really heightened, especially if you are doing your meditations and grounding yourself. You know, you have to keep grounded, <clears throat> which most of us are pretty well grounded because we are the earth sign and we love to be out in nature. But for those that live in big cities and, and, and places like that, make sure you are grounding yourself and listening to your intuition. Spirit's going to be definitely connecting and talking with you this month and, you know, in the May. And you're definitely going to be hearing that. And there's like, you know, an optimistic outlook on, on something specific in your life. And it could be just towards humanity. This is more of like a spiritual... Um, thing that's going on here. Like I said, some of you could be meeting. Some of you are getting married. Getting hitched. If not, you guys are going to be meeting. Single ones are going to be meeting someone that could possibly be uh, a good partnership for you in the month. You know, this month in May. So let's get a postcard from Spirit. Spirit, what does Capricorn need to hear at this time? Says, Dear Shu, even though life seems not now to be moving full steam ahead, it's time to rest. Allow ideals to flow through you and take root in your heart before they reach your mind. Honor this process by becoming empty to allow for inspiration and the magic of dreaming. You might feel lazy or unproductive, but we know better. Just as sleep is a way to recharge before renewal, so are you in a time of dreaming. In this powerful process of co-creation, your soul merges with spirit in a profound way so you can receive your music directly from source and play your part in a sympathy of life. You are being invited to bear witness to the great creation and tune in to what others can't hear. We have so many dreams to share with you in this sacred and the invisible. Don't worry, we will wake you up when it's time to return with a new dream. No need to set the alarm clock. Loving you always. So that was a beautiful message. I hope it resonates with you Capricorns. I hope this helps you in your journey through life. Blessings my friends and namaste.